Hey guys, so I am back with another drugstore makeup haul. I know I just did one, but I went to CVS today to kill some time after I ordered some lunch and I was just going to wait, you know, a couple minutes, browse the aisles while my lunch was um, getting, ready to be uh, getting ready to be picked up. And I totally went crazy, so I went to CVS, didn't even mean to get all this stuff, and I felt a little guilty about it. But the reason why I bought so much drugstore makeup is because I plan on doing a whole bunch of tutorials coming up. And I really needed to build my drugstore makeup collection because I do have a, quite a bit of drugstore makeup, but I don't have a lot of the basics like powder, foundation, um, primer, like stuff that I, like the building blocks that... I have in some of my other, you know, high-end or just like specialty kind of items. So, um, for example, I have a prom makeup tutorial coming up and I want to get items that are available now and in the drugstore and kind of like the newer items that I can do a whole look with. So, I had to start and some of these things, well, hopefully that way I won't have to buy them again and again. But I also wanted to try out some of the new stuff for you guys so you guys can see what's going on in the drugstore. And let's just go ahead and get started. I'll get rid of the boring stuff first. Contact Solution. This is just like the, the cutest one, I think, of the BioTrue. I just think it looks so fresh and invigorating. So my boyfriend and I both are a contact, so Contact Solution. Get that one over with. Um, this one is Makeup Remover Cleansing Palette from Neutrogena. Now, I this is probably me, like my fourth or fifth pack in the last year. I really like these. I use them on myself and my clients and they get they take makeup off really good. I, I always like to have an extra pack handy so that way I don't run out and I'm like, oh, I need makeup and rubber wipes. So yeah, I should have gotten baby wipes while I was there too to do like swatches and clean my hands, but I forgot. Okay, so let's jump into the makeup. I actually bought a whole bunch of nail things as well and I think that's kind of what hiked the price up there. So, um, I mentioned in my last drugstore haul that I've been really into nail stickers lately because I'm off the gel nails and it's such an easy way to get really cool looking nails quick without messing up. Um, I've gone to a couple of different brands, some better than others, but I have not tried these yet. So I have two from Essie and the Essie ones look like they're really nice. I think they might be a little pricey. You know, Essie's a little bit of a nicer brand. Um, this one's called Sneak E. So it's a silver, a bright silver um, foil, and it's kind of like um, like a snake print. And these are supposed to be UV cured, kind of like gel nails. So um, hopefully they last longer because I've gone through a couple of random sticker brands and they're not that great. Um, and also I think that these would be really cool to do with my prom makeup tutorial because it's like um, a quick and easy way to get really fancy nails for prom without having to get them done. Um, the other one I got is called Stickers and Stones, so it's like a um, slate gray with like rhinestones. It's really fancy. And the other two I got are from Maybelline. This one's called Divine Crocodile, which I thought was very pretty. Emerald green and like a crocodile print. And then I got Metal Prisms, which I thought was really, really cool. It's kind of like, it's not studded but it looks like studs, like little pyramids of silver and gold. So I thought that was really cool and um, chic. And then I got one more nail item. I got this nail polish by Essie and it's called Lil Boa Peep. I just thought this color was so chic. It's like a, a bronzy silver, taupey kind of color, like a satin taupe kind of shade. But then I realized it has a magnet on top, and I didn't even realize that when I got home. And then, and then it has like this snakeskin looking design right here. So I don't know if maybe this is a magnetic polish. Um, let me know if you guys know, but I'm going to try that out. Oh, one more nail thing. This one's by Kiss, and it's the, um, what's this one called? I don't know, but it looks like little jeweled rhinestones with little rhinestones on the top. Um, I had tried a Kiss One, two nail polish, -ish, two nail polish applications ago, and it was okay. It was decent. It did start to wear about maybe two or three days in, but it wasn't horrible. So I got this one just because that was fun and funky. You know, it'd be probably fun for the spring. Okay, so let's move on. So this is going to be kind of random. 
I'm just going to pull out what I see first. Um, I got a Maybelline Volume Express The Rocket. Um, I think this might be new because it was like in the front where the new stuff is like in a special display it's, and it's in very black. And I need to definitely get more drugstore mascaras because I don't have enough and I want to use drugstore mascaras in tutorials. So I don't know if this is new or not, but I got that for the, strictly the purpose of having a drugstore mascara and a tutorial. Um, Physicians Formula, I got this Gentle Concealer Stick in Yellow. So it's like um, concealer twist up and a lipstick tube looking thing. The yellow is what caught my eye. I thought that would be really cool maybe to see if it would give an under eye brightening effect. Like how we always do, like the yellow banana powder type thing, maybe the yellow concealer or two. So I got that. Physicians Formula though, that brand is not cheap for a drugstore. I feel like that's one of the more expensive brands. Um, let's see what else I got here. I got this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer. And I got this because I need a drugstore primer. I don't really have one. Um, I have like... Uh, I have like a NYX one and a Palladio, but not like a straight up I can buy it at the drugstore one. So I love the Instant Age Rewind Concealer and Foundation, so I thought I'd give this a try. Um, and then the whole, usually when it's um, an Age Rewind type of formula, it's more moisturizing and nourishing, which is good for my dry skin. I picked up the Magic Decrease Eyelid Primer from L'Oreal. Now this is not really a new product, I don't think. I remember L'Oreal having the decrease out years ago, but it seems like maybe it's a new packaging because it was definitely out in the front. So again, I needed a, a drugstore eyelid primer, which I don't really have when I think about it. I think the only one I have is from NYX, but that's not really like straight up drugstore. So this one's kind of cool because it's got a nude color on it, which I like. I like. I don't really like sheer bases. I like ones that have a nuding out effect, so that way it kind of makes your eyes a blank canvas. Um, I got a powder from Milani. This is a Milani face powder in tan. I don't know if this is my shade. Hopefully, usually I tend to be a tan or a medium dark in most kind of shade descriptions, but it says it's a multitasker face powder for setting, finishing, and blotting. So I got this because again, I don't have a drugstore face powder that I usually, that I go to. I would say the only one I probably have that's a face powder is maybe Pure Minerals, but that's not really a drugstore. That's kind of more like an Ulta. So I really needed a drugstore powder so that I could use at my drug, straight up drugstore tutorials. Um, I also got another powder, which is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. And this one is, um, it says it's in the shade Invisible and it eliminates shine for up to eight hours. So it's a nice thick compact with a mirror and I really don't have super shiny skin but I thought this would be a good translucent powder to touch up like the t-zone where I would, would get a little bit um, shiny after a while um, but yeah I thought this would be good to set to also like under the eye because it's translucent um, but yeah um, this is also I'm kind of like rambling here this might be great too if you want to throw it in your purse and you do have oily skin as a touch up so, in my head I was thinking that would be good for like a prom makeup tutorial type of deal. I got one of the new Revlon Photo Ready Quads or eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow little palettes. And I don't, usually, I'm not really up to date with the makeup from the drugstore. Like I don't get the new releases, but I've been seeing these and I decided to give it a shot. They, they actually didn't have a lot of the colors left. This one's called Renaissance. And the eyeshadows are really pretty and glittery, but like in a subtle glitter way. So it's got some basic shades. I just thought I would try it. It might be, I might work it into a prom tutorial somehow. So we'll see. I got this blush from Maybelline. Again, I don't have many drugstore blushes. I have like Wet n Wild, but that's pretty much it. And I like this light peachy shade because it's just a natural flush. Great for spring. And I got this Wet n Wild Trio and Spoiled Brat. Now, when I saw this, I was like, Valentine's Day tutorial. Um, it, it's got this really pretty hot pink of sparkly black and a silver. And I just, when I saw the hot pink, I thought, spooky Valentine's um, look. So I think I'm definitely going to use this. And I have never been disappointed with these Wet n Wild um, shadows for the most part. So, got that. Um, I got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi 
Healthy Luminous Makeup, and this is in shade W6 Sun Beige. I'm a little nervous about this because I have truly never really had good luck with finding a match with drugstore foundation. Usually they tend to be too beige on me or too dark, you know, like too brown. Um, I kind of, the only one I usually use from the drugstore is the Maybelline Eraser Foundation, but I use two of the shades. One darker on the outside and one lighter on the inside, so this kind of looks like it could be a match. Um, I'm not sure. My skin's also kind of paler right now than it usually, more pale than it usually is, so hopefully this works. I might have to do a little magic to make it work, but I definitely want like a straight up drugstore foundation. And then the whole Lumi thing, it appeals to me as a dry skin girl who likes dewy look foundations. And I've kind of heard some good things about that one. Okay, so I'm almost done. I got, now all I have left are these three hot pink lips, lip products. Um, so I've heard about these whispers. The, um, what is this brand? Maybelline? Color whispers. Is this Maybelline? Yeah. The Maybelline color whispers. So I think that these are pretty much more like of a sheer type of deal. I got two colors. I got 65, which is Pink Possibilities, which is like a bright hot pink. But you know what? It doesn't come across hot pink. It's more like of a like a tint of hot pink, which actually looks nice on me because um, when I want a pink lip, I can't go for like that pale Pepto Bismol pink because it looks like gross on me. So I need like a little bit of color. And then this one is called. Faint for fuchsia, so this one's brighter, I think. Kind of looks similar, actually. So, um, <laughs> it actually looks really similar. Oh, no, that was kind of not smart. Um, it's a little, well, tiny bit more on. Um, this one's a little bit more on the coral side. This one's a little bit more on the straight up hot pink, blue base side. But I got it because I think these in my um, in my teen makeup tutorials, I noticed that. The teens that I've done makeup gigs on recently love the bold lip, like a Katy Perry kind of deal. So, so I got that for a tutorial. And then I got um, this Maybelline Color Sensational High Shine Lip Gloss in Electric Shock, which is also a hot pink. I have not really heard anything about these. I've heard of the Color Sensational lipsticks, which everybody is buying up because they're really bright colors. Um, which I probably should have gotten instead of two sheer hot pinks. I should have gotten a true hot pink from the color sensational but it's okay um but yeah that's it for my um my drugstore makeup from cvs definitely if you have any ideas for tutorials with these products please let me know um i will definitely be using these in upcoming tutorials and i will have pictures of them on my blog at makeupbyredburn.com and if you're interested in this makeup i don't have a tutorial for it but it's kind of like a really smoky eye with just a pop of teal which I was influenced by a picture from Tia and Tamara, the uh, Maori twins. I saw a picture online. I really like the makeup. And then the hair is a tutorial, which I filmed like a beachy wave tutorial, which will be out soon. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.